Brace yourselves. Videos are coming. <laughs> Everybody, my name is Matt. And I am Jen. I think. Tonight, on Lost in Discussion News, we talk about the Lannister family. <laughs> the Golden Die Lion Dynasty. We've got a very wealthy family. They're just pooping out money. Just like Tywin pooping. Death scene. Funny. Yeah, I was I was kind of sad there was a lot of talking in that scene. They should have just shot him and ran away, but whatever. But that's okay, because I have a great clip. It's not okay! It is not okay. I don't care what you do, post-episode editing, nothing. If you're gonna have a scene like that, just have them kill him, cut out the stupid little monologuing. It is annoying. I did that. It's not, it's not the point. What you did. I'm just saying. It, it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Thank you. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm saying. That's what I said. He shouldn't have been monologuing in the first place. Damn kids. Okay, so, Lannisters. Tywin Lannister. You are a Lannister, and a Lannister always pays his debts. So, you've got Tywin. You've got, well, you pretty much know. He's got uh, three children. He's got... The twins, Jamie and Cersei, I'm not sure if people actually remember their twins because they really focus on the incestual stuff, but yeah, this is twins doing the stuff on top of just sibling. They're then you've got the they're dwarf. They're dwindling each other. Then you've got the dwarf, Tyrion. But Tywin also has a brother, Kevin, and his son, Lancel. Kevin kind of is... They don't matter. Not really. He's a behind-the-scenes kind of a guy. He sits there. He actually gets on the small council. He gets somewhat of a say. He saves Cersei a little bit. Not that big of a thing. Oh, that jackass. There's his bio, and he has a son who basically just carries on the whole incestual thing this with Cersei and decides to go all religious with the High Sparrow. Oh, yeah, that's He's the one that turns right. her in. Yeah, he's the one with the friggin'... Yep, yep he mm. sure is. Like I said, he, he went nuts, and he's the one, kind of the main reason that uh, Cersei There's not a single Lannister prison. that actually, like... He doesn't like Tyrion. I like Tyrion, and I don't <clears throat> hate on Jaime, really. It's kind of hard to for who I he is now. I just don't like, personally, any of the characters. I don't. So, we've got... I wouldn't be friends with We've her. got Lannister history. You've got that they are Andals by blood. You love those Andals. Because you kept wanting to jam them into the history well before their time. What are you talking about? Our history lesson. I don't know what she's talking about. He's already forgotten. I forgot all Our that. history lesson. So, you've got that. They're part of the Andal blood, and Andals, as you may remember from our history lesson, they invaded Westeros, got their butts handed to them on a platter by the people in the north, they kind of stayed south, and became, basically just sat there. Useless. Everything... Everything was taken over. They became part of the Seven Kingdoms. They took over Cas Casterly Rock. The only handle that matters is Jorah. That's they it. swindled Casterly Rock. That's it. You recall that, right? Yeah, I don't care. They swindled Casterly Rock literally by Lan the Cle Clever, who won it by wit. Wonder where Tyrion gets it from. So now they own Casterly Rock, and House Lannister exists. Casterly House, not so much. So you've got Tywin. He likes to tie his shoes while swindling. And I'm looking at paper, so it actually has words on them. I'm looking at demons. What demons? I'm counting on you, Sam and Dean. Come save me. <laughs> Carry on. I'm just, I'm just gonna ignore that entire train of thought because we're talking about Game of Thrones. So we're gonna start with Tywin starts. This whole incestual thing, because apparently in Westeros and this stuff, everybody likes to screw everyone in their family. So he marries his cousin, and they have three children. Like I said, you've got the twins Cersei and Jamie. So Westeros is Kentucky. Yes. 
Okay. Basically, just a huge Kentucky. Now we're caught up. On to the news. <laughs> and then Tyrion, who is blamed for the death of his mother because yep. he happened to be born. Yep. Yes, he is apparently a little dwarf you and small. You killed that, my mother. Cersei and Daddy, not so happy with him. Um, Before the Baratheon Rebellion, Tywin was the king of the hand of the king. Burn them all! That guy. That guy, that burnt, that mad king. He was that guy. That guy. He tried to marry Cersei to Re Rhaegar. Rhaegar Targaryen. You remember Rhaegar? He's the one that stole the Stark. Lyanna. Yep. And if Cersei would have just done it. Yep, see, none of this would have happened. Yep. But anyway. Like I said before, the mad it's all Cersei's fault. The mad king says, no, we're not going to do this. So, of course, Tywin's a little pissy. Everybody gets pissy. Just a little pissy. That's the word. Just pissy. And... So when the rebellion happens, he pretty much says, okay, good timing. Gather an army. Let's just open these walls. Let's think you're going to, I'm going to defend you. Instead, we take murder over people. and murder people. Try to take out the Targaryen. Do wall. all the murdering. <laughs> all of it. Mostly. Mostly. <laughs> Except for the last one in this last episode. That sucked. We'll talk about that when we talk about Starks. Um, so you've got that. This is where his son becomes the Kingslayer. And now Cersei marries Robert Baratheon, who won the, this rebellion. I don't think he should have been named the Kingslayer to begin with. I don't think so. He stabbed him in the back. He was doing his job to protect the realm. Period. But he was supposed to be protecting the king. The king wanted to burn all of the Oh, yeah, land. most definitely. I'm not saying it was right, but his job... No, I'm, d I'm saying, I'm not arguing what has happened. I'm not arguing what he's called. I'm arguing how he should have been perceived. Oh, yeah. But basically what turned him into what he did was because he was told to kill his dad and give his dad's head. So, you know, dad, king, stab in the back, gone. Baratheons rule through Lannister blood, but... Anyway. It was Bran's fault that the king died. That the king died. It was Bran's fault because he's a war. Oh. Just burn them all! There you go. Remix. So now there's a little bit of the history of that. Okay. Let's catch up where we're at. So you've got... Ooh. He hates Tyrion. But Tyrion gets captured. I don't hate Tyrion. No, not you! He hates... Okay. He literally... Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow. Everyone likes to just reflect on the random things that I say, but I don't hate any. I don't know. Just, he, they're just annoying. Tywin. He hates Tyrion. But when Tyrion gets captured by Catelyn and Rob, it's a tarnish to his name. That that crap can't happen. So he's going to go take over River Run because River Run is Catelyn's But it was only a home. small feat that they captured Tyrion. Get it? <laughs> it was only small feat because Tyrion's an imp. <laughs> Boom. This is where he meets Shay. Continue. Shay the whore. But Tyrion was Tyrion was married before. But we'll talk about that when we talk about Tyrion. Yep. But so Shay's in the camp. Tyrion's there. All that stuff happens. He loses like a bunch of battles with Rob. Yep. He wins one battle, kind of. But then Rob has his secondary army coming at him from the side and defeats him that way. Very good tactic. You suck my battleship, you scoundrel. And this is how Jamie gets taken. Yep. So, you've got that. Jamie's now in the hands of the Starks, or the King of the North. Uh, yeah. She said hands. I just thought of. But, <laughs> exactly. But that's, that's ahead of this right now. No, not the head. Ah, <laughs> that's someone else. I mean, that could be a lot of other people. People are beheaded left and right. And of course, this is the time period that we do lose a head. Ned's dead. Yep. So Ned's dead. Um, how are we going to get rid of Rob? He keeps trying to think. So many frustrations, right? Baelish. Peter Baelish comes in with his nice little tongue. Fucking, you love Baelish, don't you? God damn it, Peter Baelish. Oh my god, I hate you so Like, Peter Baelish is someone I actually hate. The character, not the actor. Oh, yeah. Could no, you no, no. stop sending Ramsey Bolton death threats? I mean, he's obviously already dead, so just cut it out. Yeah. Spoiler. If you haven't <laughs> seen Battle of the Bastards, now you know how it ends. Dumbledore dies at the end. Dumbledore's gay. Not that it's wrong, just he is. 
So he comes in. He suggests an alliance with House Tyrell. Yes. Battle of Blackwater. You know, that's actually an episode I missed. I've never seen Battle of Blackwater. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you've got the stuff that's going on. You've got the Battle of Blackwater. You've got... I'll condense it as quick as possible. I mean, I know what happens because I, I read the, the episode synopsis. Oh, okay. But I just never watched it. So I was kind of upset to... to Big like... win! They won! They defeated. That's pretty much that. But again, we have the win. And... He decides he's going to be the hand to his double grandson, Joffrey. Everybody wants to be the hand, except for Jamie. Ned, yeah. Ned didn't want to be hand. He was, but then he said, no, screw but it. He didn't want, he didn't want it. No, first. he didn't he, want he it. He told Robert to go shove it up his ass. Yep. Bum, bum, bum. He had morals. So you've got Unlike this. Unlike the whole of Westeros. So once again, time gets pissy. Oh, he's getting pissy. Everyone Except this pissy. guy that he has a permanent scowl on his freaking face. Who are we talking about again? Tywin. Yes. Does he not? He does. I mean, does he even know how to smile? Happy Tywin looks like constipated Tywin. When Joffrey, as we go on here, when Joffrey dies, Damn. he just kind of looks at him. He just like, huh. Because he knew he had it coming, that's why. Because Joffrey's a little bitch. So. Sorry for all you dogs that they took offense at that comment. So. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he basically uh, stops everything from going on. His grandson's dead. Uh, and he kind of sends it towards Marjorie because Baelish wants Tyrell alliance. He Mar listens to him. Marjorie Tyrell, the fleshlight of Westeros. Marjorie, once again, comes in. The Baratheon babe. I'm serious. That's what I'm calling her. She doesn't come anywhere. <laughs> so... We've got her. Cersei's smug because Sansa's not going to be going on. Instead, Sansa is pledged to marry Tyrion. I wish someone would just like stab Cersei right in the face. Just, just like leave a blade right do sticking it. on her forehead. I'm not going to do it. Do it's it. not worth my time. Do it. Nope. Do it. Nope. <laughs> I don't want to do it. So. I don't get paid enough. Do we get paid? Nope. No. Exactly. We don't get paid. So, again, Cersei Smoke. Because yep. she thinks, hey, I've got this stuff cleared away. We're not marrying into the Starks anymore. We're marrying into the Tyrells. No matter the feelings that she has for Marjorie, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But then Tywin decides he's going to marry Cersei off Lancel. Not yep. Lancel. Uh, La Loras. Loras. So many L's. Lannister. Ah. So basically... It split up the Stark Tyrell alliance. I wonder what would have happened like. if Westeros would have had a gay pride parade. Just think about that for a second. Just think about it. Let it sink in. Just like, just go back in time and have Renly and Loras march in front of a gay pride parade. Red Viper switching sides always yeah, because they're I mean, very open. I mean, so the whole of Westeros had a pretty nice LGBT. But he'd be LGBT leading it with his acrobatics. LGBTQ community. Is that it? Yeah, LGBTQ community there we go. Plus. Plus. Quilted bagpipe is kind of a, an acronym that they use. That makes sense. Good. You guys are you guys are smart. Make up words, just like the rest of the government does. I'm not saying you're part of the government, but you got the same tactics. Moving on! <laughs>